Madame. Colonel Sambayanan, party list. We are the Panao Sambayanan parties. We run in order to represent the indigenous peoples of the Philippines. We run in order to represent and lend our voices to our alliance of network, including the urban poor of the Philippines, the armed forces of the Philippines, uh, the organizations that support us, especially the parents and families of recruited uh, members of the communist terrorist organization. But basically our voices as to why we are running is we believe that our country has long forgotten the indigenous peoples and that is there is no sufficient voice advocating for the rights of the indigenous peoples. At this point in time, there has been rumors and there has been confirmation that the only law that caters for the indigenous peoples is being abolished or being diminished and would like to stand for the right of the indigenous peoples. We thank the COMELEC, uh, headed by our chairperson for allowing the indigenous peoples of the Philippines to have a voice, possible voice in Congress, allowing us to participate in the electoral process. The indigenous peoples of the country has been nation builders. They have been a part of nation building way before the establishment of this government, and we will be a nation builder. But at the end of the day, discussions regarding development, conservation, and preservation of the ancestral domain has long been forgotten, and we want to be a part of the discussion. The indigenous peoples has a lot of wisdom to contribute into nation building. Baboy, tayo ang hat. Ma'am, sir, good afternoon. Uh, Ma'am, may we confirm if you're uh, among the nominees of the party list? I'm standing in front of you. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm uh, a second party nominee. Second party nominee. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Please, pakibanggit lang ng name and org organization, no? Video org. Pakipasa ng form. Thank you. Hello. I'm Gio from TV5. My question is, um, how are we going to protect yung mga katutubo natin na biktima ng red tagging? The biggest problem when it comes to the ancestral domain is peace and order. I have been, and we have been to a lot of this ancestral domain, and the number one problem is the continuous presence in the violence that has been inflicted to them by the CPP, NPA, and the F. We have been on this advocacy for the last five years, being a spokesperson of the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict. So my question to you is that, if you say that they are victims of red tagging, what about the victims, the indigenous peoples who are the victims of the communist terrorist organizations? We have, in my own, uh, when, my, when I had served the uh, Caraga Region as Regional Director for the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples. We have 21 cases of reprisal killings from these organizations. So my question is, who is speaking for these victims? Who are speaking for the Indigenous Peoples that has been the victims of this communist terrorist organization for the last 53 years? To uh, Ma'am Gray. Yes. Yes, yes, please. Something like 60 to 90 percent of NPAs come from the indigenous sectors. What that means is that the, our indigenous brothers and sisters have been victimized, have been tormented and exploited by the communist terrorists, CPP, NPA, and the F. And, but as big as the harm that the CPP, NPA, and the F has done towards our brothers and sisters that, that are indigenous, the harm that a government that doesn't care for them, that is indifferent to them, is no match to the harm that the CPP has done to them. So, to answer your question, um, kung ano man yung ibig sabihin ng red tagging na yan, no? wala siguro yan kumpara sa ginawa ng CPP, NPA, NDF. The most heinous crimes against our indigenous peoples were done by the CPP, NPA, NDF. Child trafficking, human trafficking, slavery, child abuse, recruitment to violent extremism, uh, terrorist financing, rape, all these sexual crimes. No, so, 
um, I guess that's my answer. This is part of our advocacy, is to protect our indigenous brothers and sisters from the exploitation, from being targeted by the CPP, NPA, NDF, and to hopefully be part of a government that cares for them because we have found, we have experienced from our uh, short stint in government no, that, that um, the transformative and powerful role of good governance. Because as it happens, no, when, when finally NTF LCAP came to the hinterlands, the Gitas, where the IPs were, they surrendered by, by tens of thousands. And this was as a result of that, napatapa natin ang CPP, NPA, and NDF for the first time in over 50 years. It's good to know that you're advocating for the rights of our indigenous peoples, but how about, I'm, I'm, just, I'm curious now, how about, uh, how do we protect those who were uh, wrongly accused na miembro ng mga makakaliwang grupo? How do we protect those uh, mga katutubo natin? What do you mean wrongly accused? Can you elaborate? Who, who wrongly accused them? Certain groups who wrongly uh, accused uh, our indigenous groups participating in uh, leftist um, groups. Yes, may I please answer now? Yes ma'am, please. The, the okay. elephant in the room is the propaganda machine of the CPP, NPA, NDF that have used terms like social activists, environmentalists, uh, organizers to mask who they really are, recruiters of the CPP, NPA, NDF that have targeted our indigenous brothers and sisters. And as a result of that, extreme poverty, generational poverty, massacres. Now, so this has, occurred, this has happened to our indigenous brothers and sisters. So, um, when, I, when you ask a question like that, it's not so clear what you really mean. Now, what do you mean uh, by wrongly accused, and can you at least give an example? If you mean maybe Chad Bo'ok, is that what you mean? Chad Bo'ok? Did you mean that? Okay, so could you give an example, please? Because uh, the CPP, NPA, NDF has a massive propaganda machine that's been in existence for over half a century. And just to elaborate, Ipanao Sambayana is also a conglomerate of former rebels that we have uh, as a part of our alliance network. And we have tens and hundreds of testimonies coming from them as to how the CPP, NP, NDF operates. In fact, we have one of the leaders here, and they have been giving us affidavits, in, uh, including under oath, as to what the problem was and how it's to be solved, and who are the people behind these organizations. And I think that we can safely assume that the advocacy coming from this uh, from this party list will, really, will reflect no, the efforts coming from the former FRs or the FRs and from the indigenous peoples in trying to attain lasting peace for our country, and especially in the, in the ancestral domains. Jairo Rappler. Hi, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon po. Ma'am, just to follow up from uh, Gio's question, ma'am. Um, wala po bang parang disconnect, ma'am, that you are running for to advocate for the rights of the indigenous people where, in fact, yung mga lumad po ay victims po ng red tagging, particularly of the NTFL caps, ma'am. And the Supreme Court, finally, this year, defined red tagging as a threat to life, liberty, and security, ma'am. Thank you. The, this organization, the Ipinaw Sambayanan Parties, actually is built on the back and the strength, participation, consultation of the indigenous peoples, especially of those coming from Mindanao. And you say that uh, they had been the primary victims of red tagging. My answer to this, they have been the primary victims of the CPP, NP, NDF. We have documented more than 2,000 IP leaders that has been killed. In my state in Caraga, one, one instance alone, that to Jomar Bukalis was ambush. He's trying to remove Salupuan schools in his uh, area, in his domain. But they were ambushed by the CPP MP and they were proud to announce it. Just for that single reason of trying to remove the schools like that and replace it with different schools. This kind of situation is what we are trying to uh, speak of and fight for. We are speaking for, and I can safely say that, for the indigenous peoples of the country. Uh, okay, Gerard, no, there is no disconnect. No, there is no disconnect. In fact, 
you cannot fight for the rights of the indigenous peoples without without unmasking the CPP, NPA, NDF. And you cannot fight for our country without fighting against the CPP, NPA, NDF. There is no disconnect at all. In fact, this is one of those things, top of the list, that we need to do to finally get rid ourselves of the communist terrorists, CPP, NPA, NDF, so that our country can finally move forward and be at par with our neighbors in the ASEAN region. Okay, ma'am, eight minutes is up. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Paul.